It's Mental Health Week and raising awareness of the issue also raises the question, what are your rights when it comes to mental health? The workplace is one of the common places for the issue to come up, so let's start there. Simon Creek from HHG Legal is here to walk us through it. Good afternoon, Simon. Hello, Tracy. Mental health covers a wide variety of conditions. What do employers need to be aware of about their ob obligations in the workplace? I would say far more than most employers are aware of right now. Okay. The general understanding is that you have a physical duty of care, uh, preventing physical harm occurring, and the mental side to it seems to be relatively unknown. There is a common law and a statutory obligation on all employers to make sure that the workplace uh, does not contribute to mental illness. Can bosses or potential employers question you about your mental health history? And how much do you have to reveal? Look, it's a big no-no in terms of any interview process. Um, there is no onus on potential employees and current employees to review uh, or to reveal, sorry, um, any mental uh, disorder. But there is a general understanding that if you want to pass probation, you should be very upfront and provide full disclosure. What jobs or roles can you be legitimately disqualified from because of mental health? This is where employers, I think, quite rightly get somewhat upset about mm -hmm. the issue because, to be honest, it's a job-by-job -job assessment. There aren't any categories uh, where you can be disqualified holus bolus for having any form of mental disorder. And on a practical level, as much as I um, sympathise with that, I can also see many problems coming out of it. OK, and what are those? Well, effectively, if you're operating heavy machinery, if you are a police officer, for example, and under intense pressure in the, in the line of duty, uh, I think legitimate questions should be asked about whether or not you're going to crumble under the pressure. OK. Let's talk about if, if you do have some sort of issue here. Like how hard is it to prove you've been treated differently because of a mental health issue? Another huge bugbear yeah. for employers in that it is very easy. All you really have to do is prove that you have a mental illness and then the employer has to prove that it had nothing to do with them. So the onus is on the employer to prove that they're the innocent party. Are there any safeguards either for the employee or, or the employer? I mean it's such a sensitive issue here but mm. are there anything, is there anything that both sides can do here? We've come a long way in terms of at least acknowledging that um, mental illness is uh, common, that it certainly should not be a stigma of any kind and that workplaces should support and encourage yeah. everybody um, with any form of illness. But I still think employers are probably up against it at the moment. They haven't quite figured out how to be helpful at the same time as protecting their businesses. A lot to learn there, I think. Mm. All right, Simon Creek, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure.